Hi there, welcome to the Tour Guides Travel Guide Talking Head Sessions. My name is Rich Jones and I am a professional tour guide. You really can trust me. You just heard the American classic Camp Town Races there. And here we find ourselves in the Camp Town, Northeast Pennsylvania, just 30 miles from where I live. The song itself, the Camp Town Races, was written by a man called Stephen Foster. Now Foster, born in 1826 in the great city of Pittsburgh, that's about 250 miles west of here. Now in 1840, he moved to this area with his family to the town of Tawanda, just a few miles down the road here, and he spent his teens here. Not particularly happily by all accounts, he's quoted as saying it was a terrible lonesome place to be. However, Foster, musically gifted, was obviously greatly inspired and aware of what he was experiencing in and around this area. And at the end of his life, in 1864, he'd amassed a back catalogue of over 200 songs and melodies, many of which still known and recognised today. And I've got a couple of examples here, actually. Um, I Dream of Jeannie with the Light Brown Hair, Oh Susanna, My Old Kentucky Home, Beautiful Dreamer, Coradine, The Merry Merry Month of May, another one about horse racing, The Tioga Waltz, of course, Swanee River, and the famous Camp Town Races. He also put together a musical parody for Abraham Lincoln for his 1860 presidential campaign. Man of many talents. And what I didn't realise until I started looking into this story is that Stephen Foster is very much regarded as the father of American music. Countdown Races was written in 1850, specifically for the famous Christy minstrel singers who specialised in Foster's work. The song tells the story of itinerant workers who would try to gain some more cash, put a bit of excitement to their lives by betting on horses. Now, these camp towns, or jungle camps as they became later known, quoted by Alan Pinkerton, the great Scottish detective and founder of the US Secret Service, were basically social centres for a society of outcasts that would gather here to eat, to sleep, to drink, to rest and repair on the road. More often than not, these camp towns were situated adjacent to major railroads, allowing the, the, the hobos, and that's another Pinkerton quote, to hop onto these trains, move about the country, city to city, town to town, in search of work and money. They're also situated near sources of fresh water, just over here in the Wyalusing Creek. So obviously you could wash, cook with it, drink fresh water. Now, if we go back to the lyrics of the song, a quote that the bay horse, the bobtail nag, ran five miles. Quite so, five miles from here in Camp Town to five miles down the road to the next town and camp of Wyalusing. At this time, in the mid 19th century, Many Irish immigrants were making their way over here. The fact that the Irish have an absolute passion for horses and particularly horse racing. So it's highly probable that the Irish introduced the concept of steeplechase racing. You know, that fixture that goes from point A to point B, through the fields, through the woods, over streams, hedges and fields. And of course, as we know, steeplechasing itself was first conceived in County Cork, Southern Ireland in 1752 started out between a wage of two uh, major landowners, Cornelius O'Callaghan and Captain Edmund Burke. The dispute was who had the quickest and best horse. So they decided to settle this argument on a race, starting off in the village of Buttevant, starting off at the church underneath the steeple, and it would finish in O'Callaghan's village of Canturk. Finish would be the church under the steeple, hence steeple chasing. The Camp Town race is still run to this very day, but it's in a completely different format. It's actually a 10 kilometer road race open to men and women of all ages. Normally run the second week of September. In fact, just a couple of weeks ago, they had the 50th running of it. So you've got plenty of time to get that application in for next year's running if you fancy it. Right, well, I'm off to the bookies. Gonna put a couple of bucks. I've had a hot tip on a horse called Shergar, ridden by Lord Lucan in the 230 at Ascot. Might see some of you down there. If you enjoyed this video, you can follow me on Facebook, share it, like it, or you could subscribe to my 
YouTube channel. I've been Rich Jones, the Tour Guide's Travel Guide. Keep traveling, stay safe, and I hope to see you on the next edition of the Talking Heads.